What's this? This isn't an electric guitar. We're running acoustic today. All right, we've had a lot of uh, requests from folks uh, to look at some acoustic guitars. Um, I picked up this Taylor. I wanted to do sort of video on it, and this is kind of meant to be my first impression of it. I've spent a good bit of time with it, but this is my first video impression because I want to really see like how it records and everything like that. It's a Taylor 614 CE that has been back to the factory. Um, this guitar originally shipped without a pickup system in it, and the original owner of this instrument sent it into Taylor and had the Expression 2 system installed, which is their piezo saddle system with their basic preamp here. You've got um, essentially your bass frequencies, treble, and volume, real simple controls. Um, and the guitar sounds great. It's an all maple guitar, so it's a little bit on the bright side. Um, I've got a good bit of the brightness dished out. Um, now we're running this um, guitar in a way that some of you may not be used to hearing. We're running through an electric guitar amplifier. Um, an old trick that I was always taught growing up, I grew up in a Fender family and you know, of course we, we didn't have like acoustic specific amps. I thought it'd be cool to see how this Taylor sounds recorded through uh, an, an electric guitar amp, okay? We're running into the number two input, which is a low gain input. So hopefully it shouldn't really be distorting or sounding overly bad. And I've got the settings on it exactly the way I run my normal electric guitar. So we thought that'd be an interesting experiment. Now I did dial the volume down just a little bit. Um, but running a loop pedal there and just kind of toying around a little bit, not a bad sound. Um, I will say that the sound of this guitar is probably indicative of more of what you would get um, you know, out of a, a thin line acoustic. The projection is not really like really crazy. This is an auditorium sized body, so it, it's sort of fat on the end, but it gets tinier up here as it gets towards the cutaway. And obviously you have the cutaway also to get you up onto the higher frets, which I was trying to demonstrate there. Um, I don't play a lot of acoustic guys, so I'm sorry if it sound bad, but uh, you know, we're trying to give you an idea what this thing sounds like. I'm not gonna record it unplugged for this video. I know some people are gonna be yelling blasphemy at me, but let's just see what it sounds like. I had a few little things going in there in the intro, just a little bit of delay to give us some sounds, but let's leave the, the volume relatively low and we'll just get everything halfway. So you basically got all the way up and all the way down, but there's like a halfway point where the knob sort of like finds a little home right there and kind of clicks in place. So here's everything just halfway up on the guitar and uh, no effects or anything, just super reverb here. See what it sounds like. Not bad. Um, I personally feel that acoustics are abnormally hard to play. Okay, they are a little bit difficult to play. I like electrics because I like the ease of playability. Okay, but for certain stuff, when you really want that lap piano sound, it's kind of nice to have an acoustic to really ring some stuff out. And for recording purposes, it's nice to be able to lay down an acoustic track if you need it for recording. Um, you know, I know a lot of people associate acoustics with. Uh, certain styles of music and everything, but, but I like them. I like to just kind of play like I would play, like I'm me and I just play like I play. And I try to just let that transfer over to whatever instrument I use because a guitar is a guitar, right? Um, really cool stuff though. It's, it plays great all the way up the register. Um, the action on this guitar is maybe a little stiff feeling compared to like the scale length of a Martin. So one of the things that you kind of sacrifice on that is because it does have a relatively short scale length, the tension on the strings is really, really hard. I mean, I'm like, I've got a, I mean, I'm a strong dude, you know what I mean? And I've got to really like hit that string hard to get it to bend. 
And so if you're trying to play like sort of the electric styles, these things are a bear to play because of the short scale length. Definitely not slinky like a big, huge Martin. So that's sort of one of the things that you, you sort of lack in a guitar like this, in my opinion, is that scale length makes it a little bit kind of a tighter sound. Um, for instance, I don't know if I just wanted to... <laughs> I mean, you got to really dig in on these things to get some sound out of them, but really not a bad acoustic tone. That's pretty nice sounding. You know, it responds well. It's not a bad guitar for flat picking, for finger picking. Uh, it'll make a man out of you. You got to really play the heck out of these things to get some sound out of them. Uh, the maple, in my opinion, sounds pretty good. Okay, it's nice and bright. And gosh, for one thing, not only bright, but beautiful. I mean, man, look at the back on that guitar. Beautiful guitar. Flamed uh, maple back and sides and a maple neck, which I've always loved the tone of a maple neck. That's what drew me to this guitar. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what it sounds, and this is meant for us to give us an idea of what's, what uh, an acoustic sounds like recorded through a Super Reverb, okay? Um, uh, this is probably not your average acoustic guitar demo. I'm not your average uh, kind of player. I'm a little weird when it comes to what I want to hear out of a guitar, but maybe this gave you an idea of what an acoustic can sound like through this particular amp, but maybe an idea of what the 614 can sound like, uh, you know, and maybe some musical styles that you maybe weren't expecting to hear. But a uh, wonderful guitar. We wanted this to be a quick and just dirty demo on the 614. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We post every Monday and Friday here on Guitar Arsenal. Make sure you tune in. A lot of folks been asking for some acoustic stuff. I'm trying my best to put out acoustic content. And quite frankly, guys, I just need to uh, learn to play acoustic better. Uh, it's a little hard uh, to play. You know, these are relatively big strings, you know, acoustics have on them. So uh, I'm used to playing lighter strings on an electric. So it's, it's a little tough. So it's time to stay in my musical realm, uh, but I'm trying my best. Uh, I'll make a little more racket. You guys get back to your day. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's just see what kind of sound we can co coerce out of this uh, guitar here. All right. So we play some airy stuff. We play some sort of, you know, jazzy sounding little stuff. I mean, 
The guitar plays great. The frets on it are wonderful. I, I do like it. Um, just kind of vamp on a few things here, see what we come up with. Uh, let's see. 